Hello, Mark Crossword here. It's another fresh day. So we've got the Ping G25s hitting up against the TaylorMade Rocket Blades Tour Irons. I've got a six iron and a seven iron. Trackman on, five of each. Beanie on. Let's get stuck in, see which one comes out on tops. So, Rocket Blades Tour hitting up against Ping G25. So, you've got the chrome looking uh, slotted bottoms uh, Tour iron here against the kind of grey matte finish of the Ping G25. Both of these irons offering a little bit of help around the outside and at the bottom. You've got very different in appearance looking down at the two, a bit more offset in the G25 and obviously you've got the more classic looking in the Rocket Blades Tour. The Rocket Blades Tour iron, the slot disappears I think from the eight iron down to lower iron so it's the longer irons you're getting the slot power and help in apparently. Um, I've got a six iron and seven iron of each, I couldn't get the equivalent clubs, we've got equivalent shafts, we're going to give them a hit and see how they come out, we're going to hit five with each. So let's start with a Rocket Blades Tour. Let's get some numbers and show you what comes out of these two irons. Here we go. Okay, that's five of Rocket Blades Tour. It's a lovely feeling iron. I do like the look of this putting it down by the ball. It's a really nice classic shape. This is one of my favorite irons TaylorMade have ever produced. I do like Rocket Blades Tour. So let's compare it up then to G25. Like I said, it's a very different look at that, putting it down by the ball. The head looks bigger. Obviously the colorway looks different and the offsets. It's a very different kind of style in the looks of the club and let's see if it only boils down to the looks or if the numbers are actually different. So here we go, five with Ping G25. Okay, and that's five with the G25. Slightly different sound, if anything, on those two. The G25 makes a smaller sound, kind of like a softer sound almost, which is strange. You wouldn't think that so much. So let's look at the numbers on the two. Definitely on looks, I think Rocket Blades Tour wins. But like I've said in other videos, I do like the ping, because this old kind of, this style of ping, this kind of where they're not giving it the chroming effect and no feral and stuff, I still quite like that in a ping but I can see lots of people not liking that as much. Let's look at the numbers and see if there's any difference in them. So let's look at the numbers. We've got a cold day, we're using our balls as well, so the numbers on distances will come up smaller. Um, but look, we've got club head speed, 83 miles an hour with the seven iron of the Rocket Blades Tour, 127.9, so 128 uh, yard meters on carry, um, launch angle 16 degrees and spin rate 7,700 revs. Exactly where, to be honest, I would imagine a 7 iron to be with these balls <coughs> on a day like this with that club and almost my club. If we compare it up to G25, 85 miles an hour, so gone up 2 mile an hour in club head speed. We've got the longer shaft on the 6 iron, so I'd imagine that would happen. Total 140 meters over the 127.9, so 128 meter so we're looking at 12 extra yards with g25 on average launch angle 13 to 16 with the seven iron in the tailor-made rocket blades tour spin rate down six nine to seven seven with the rocket blades tour so rocket blades tour is spinning more when it's a seven iron over a six so i'd expect that the rocket blades is launching higher again seven iron over six so i'd understand that the rocket blades is 12 yards or meters shorter might expect that as well six iron to seven iron and the club head speed is slightly different if anything the rocket blades tour is slightly shorter in distance than the g20 the g25 side the g25 is a fraction longer that gap between six and seven is a fraction big 
So we're talking maybe kind of, if we take it into yards, maybe four yards too much in the gap at the most, but they're very close. You can see on those numbers, those two lines are performing very, very similar. You might squeeze a few extra yards out of uh, G25, but it'd be debatable more to you, you know, what you guys get from your launches, which is why it's so important you go and try these clubs if you're thinking of getting these two. Um, you know, this isn't everyone's kind of natural comparison. I would definitely say the Rocket Blades Tour is aimed at the better player. It looks more classic. They've got the standard Rocket Blades, which we can do tests with on against G25, which we will in the future. I just had a few people ask me for this one, um, which you would maybe argue a little bit closer in comparison from the manufacturers. But G25 does cross over every handicap bracket as well. But I think Rocket Blades Tour wins on looks. I like the chrome. Uh, Rocket Blades Tour on feel. Well, I think they both felt very similar, actually. There's not much in it. Distance G25 fraction more, but not much in it. I think if you went for your test, you'd find they go pretty much the same kind of numbers. Let me know what you think. Are you a grey matte finish with the kind of no feral kind of a guy in the ping? Or are you loving the chrome and the look of the tour and you want a bit of that slot magic that Taylor made are pushing? Let me know. Uh, very hard for me to choose between those two. I think if I had a set of each of those, I reckon I'd change every week between which one I want to use. Numbers are very similar. I'd be going with the looks more than anything else and feel. Post comments down below. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helps and we'll speak to you all soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.